Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and very recently I've started getting into longboarding to get myself around. Um, I don't have a car so it's a lot easier I've found to longboard around to places. The only real problem with longboard is that it's long and big and cumbersome so if I want to go other places where I need to like go inside shops or something it becomes a bit of a hassle to take that into a shop but I still like the experience of boarding to the place I just can't really do the long board. So I picked myself up a little penny board and tried to use this thing and I have not enjoyed this at all. The wheels are too small and the trucks themselves are just tiny. So they, and even as they set up right now, I've tightened them up quite a bit, but they're still quite loose and they kind of wobbled all over the place. So I decided that I'm going to uh, take this thing apart and improve it. And one of those improvements that I want to make is some 3D printed wheels. Now, uh, there's another channel here on YouTube, X Robots, uh, runs by James Burton. He's been doing some really, really cool electric skateboard videos. And in them, he's been printing his own wheels by printing a hub and then printing a Ninja Flex tire to go around that. And I think that's really, really cool. He's been doing it for his drive wheels, but I want to do it for some passive wheels like these ones and see how we go. The other thing too is I'm going to remove these trucks completely and I'm going to add some extended trucks. I think I'm actually going to take some trucks off of a old skateboard that I found lying on the side of the road. So they might need a little bit of clean up before we get into that stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan. We're going to turn this penny board into something that does not resemble a penny board anymore. And let's see how we go. And it is done. And uh, it's also a few days later. I've had a haircut and changed shirt and everything. Uh, and the reason for that is these rubber wheels, which uh, were basically the whole point of doing this, took so long to actually get printed. Each one of these rubber wheels took, takes 12 hours to print uh, because I have a stock 3D printer. So I have to run my rubber filament really, really slowly. Uh, and it's also, these aren't actually a complete, like, full infill. They're only about 10 or 20% or something like that, which is not great. They probably should actually be higher, considering they're about to uh, attempt to carry my entire weight. Uh, but, as I said, these things took 12 hours each to print, and there's four of them. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, I would not recommend 
doing that unless you have lots of printer time, like I do. Um, I, I'm totally happy with those to have taken 12 hours to print each. It's just, it's, it's a lot of time. Um, so it's not something that I'd want to be doing constantly, but as a bit of, a, a bit of an example, we, will, uh, we can see that. Now, uh, everything's now all mounted together. I've taken the trucks off of that drunk skateboard and actually uh, jammed them into the truck mounts that were already on the penny board, uh, just because I figured that these ones already had the right bolt holes and eh, they would do well enough for now. Um, in the future, I might even try and change this up a bit because this isn't actually quite what I was going for. I was hoping that the wheels would be kind of further out and uh, a little bit higher up, a little bit closer to the board. So eventually I might actually buy some longboard trucks maybe to go in underneath here and then just do a full replace uh, with those. And the other good thing is that even at kind of full tilt, the wheels don't actually bind on the board, which is the other thing that I was a little bit worried about putting much, much larger wheels on this thing. Uh, I was worried about binding, but that is enough talking. Let us go and try and see if this thing will hold my weight, if it will roll, anything like that. So oh, there you go, they work, and they actually work pretty well. The, uh, the actual outside of the wheels doesn't have a whole lot of damage on it. Uh, there is a little bit of damage happening on some of them with a layer starting to peel away, but it's only like one thread of a layer. Uh, on the whole, they actually worked out pretty well. They're nice and, uh, nice and dirty. I gave them about an hour's worth of run around just to see how they go. Um, and because that's kind of what most people tend to do is they'll run them around for about an hour or so and then realize that the uh, the outer layer is cracking and peeling away. Especially when they're using PLA, which is what the hubs are made out of, um, they typically find that that top layer just peels away very quickly and then the wheels are pretty much dead after that point because they're just going to keep breaking from there. Uh, so these with the TPU outer, the TPU outer is really doing its job well. It's holding up quite nicely. Uh, the only problem is, um, as you saw in the little clips there, the wheels at the front here kept, here kept binding up, uh, which was a bit of an issue, and I think it's because these bearings are a little bit loose in the actual wheel itself, so if those were printed a little bit tighter, it would be better. However, I'm not gonna do that because uh, it's gonna be very, very difficult to get this TPU wheel off again, uh, so we're stuck with these hubs as they are for the moment. Uh, on the whole, pretty happy with how that went. Those wheels worked, and worked very well. Worked a lot better than any other skateboard wheels I've ever tried to 3D print in the past. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that one and I will see you in the next video.